it's really hard for me to reach the USB port on this TV to plug in my videos and photos. So I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. A lot of TVs have USB drives in the back, so they'll play media that are on flash drives and those types of things. But it's actually really hard to get because this is right up against a bookcase right here, and the plug is on this side. So I picked up this. This is a USB extension cable. This is a very short one because I don't need a lot of space to it. Uh, this one's only about maybe a little over a foot. And you can see it has a female USB port on one end and then the male on the other. So I can plug this end into the TV and then I can plug my flash drive into this side. Now I am assuming this will work, but I thought we would test it and make sure. So let's get it plugged into the TV first. So I have the cord now plugged into the back of my Hisense TV. I really love this TV, by the way. And it's just long enough to peek out the bottom. And that's great because now I can just have this dangling here and I can take things like my flash drive and now plug them in here. So what I want to see is, will this little extension cord allow me the convenience of having the port right here in the front of the TV where it's going to be much easier to access? So a good sign is that the TV turned on and the USB flash drive is lit up here and that's indicating that it's getting power so if i just go down here to the roku media player let's see if it finds it oh looks like it found it hey and i copied city slickers to it just to see if it would work so that is a success look at that pretty cool Hey, if you want to make your USB port more accessible on any TV that's multimedia friendly, including these wonderful Hisense TVs, you can pick up this little USB extension cord and it works. I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.